Assalamualaikum. This video will uh, move further and we will set up our car showroom. So for the car showroom, you can see that I have imported this asset to my Unity project 3D free modular kit, and this is a nice showroom. And now I have set up this showroom over here, and uh, you can see that uh, initially, when you will import this scene, um, this asset to your package it will not have directional light so i have uh, saved that scene with the name of car showroom so we have a new scene in our scenes and that name is car showroom then i have added directional light so that uh, the our lighting is good now we can increase this as well if you want to do so i am happy with the one and now we can place our cars here so what we want to do is we want to actually uh, select the cars from the list so for that purpose I will just uh, add our yellow car which we have uh, actually designed for the player uh, and I'll just zoom in a little bit like this in a better view and yeah okay that's better view and now definitely we can uh, place other cars as well and uh, I will just rename this car and before that I will just open the prefab and uh, just rename this car to yellow car and then I will place another car this car I will just open the prefab I will rename it to blue player car okay so I think we should rename this to yellow player car as well because in our script we are using these yellow car and AI cars as well. So now I will just bring other car so maybe green car unpack I rename it to green player car. So now what we want is we want to place the these cars to the same position of the yellow car. Uh, before that I will just rotate it so that it will look like this and definitely we can create a rotator as well. So I will do that in a while. Don't be worried about that. And uh, yeah, that's beautiful. Now in this view I think we want to add a camera. So I will just select the camera and we will press Ctrl Shift F to focus the camera and now in game view you can see that our camera is focused on this frame now. Beautiful. So now we will just copy the yellow player cars uh, dimensions. So copy, copy the component blue car and we will just paste the properties here and for the green car we will paste the paste the properties as well so now all of our cars are on the same place now we will create another game object and we will rename it to be car holder or whatever name you can uh, assign and then what we can do is that uh, actually uh, we can place this car holder to the same position so let's go to transform paste and component paste component and now we will select all of these three cars and we'll place these cars under the car holder so now you can see that this car hold under the car holder we have these three cars so now on the car holder we will add a script and i have already created the script here and uh, that's name is rotator dot cs and uh, only we have added uh, one line of code and one variable here we have added public flow speed 10f and in update function we have said that this does transform dot rotate 0 to x axis speed dot uh, multiply by time dot ta ta time so on the y axis we are moving uh, rotating the uh, object and on the z axis we are making it zero so now we will just select the car holder 
and we will add that script to car holder rotator so that's beautiful if you play the game hopefully our car will rotate around definitely we have three cars active and uh, we don't want it so we will just hide other cars we need only the yellow car initially and uh, the other cars we will enable on button click so let's add a ui here right click ui canvas definitely in the game view uh yeah now you can see the display is full hd which is good and for the canvas we will just go to the scale with screen size 1920 into 1080 and that's beautiful now we will just right click ui legacy button and we don't need text on this button so we'll just rename this button to next button sorry button and uh, we will just delete the text we don't need it and uh, we have actually the sprite so we will bring the sprite in well, you can see that in our sprites folder we already have this sprite for forward and uh, uh, back direction so we'll choose these sprites no need to bring other sprites so we'll just add the source image and we will click on set native size and uh, definitely this size is too big so we'll select the button and uh, we'll make it uh, small so i think uh, i think the width is to 82 etc so let's make it manually we'll just make it small in the game view you can see the button is visible so yeah so now we will just bring it to right side hopefully here yeah a little bit uh, uh, movement to the oh, we have to move okay here maybe and we can actually change the color to green maybe and then we will uh, duplicate the button but I think the size is a little small so let's make it 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 maybe so that's good and then we will just duplicate it control D we'll rename it to the previous button and then we will bring it to x axis here and we'll place the opposite button and a little bit more and then we will just change the color to something like red maybe and where we are happy with our result then it's nice we can play the game and now you can see that we have a nice UI we can button and we can click the button to change the car and next video we will swap the cars.